Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of a smart desk light created in collaboration with Xiaomi and Philips. It's also under the Mijia line and sells for under $50. You can find it in the links down below. So it's a reasonable buy if you're considering a smart desk light. Uh, other competitors are around the same price. And Philips brings in their LED bulb technology that is supposedly less harmful for your eyes. And Xiaomi brings in the design of the light itself as well as the companion app, which allows you to change things like the brightness, the hue, as well as the temperature directly from your smartphone. You can use either iOS or Android. Opening the lid, we have just the instruction manual right on top, which is printed in full color. There's a QR code that you can download the Xiaomi Mija app that you can use to bind the smart desk light with your smartphone. And underneath here, we just have the light itself. Inside, there's just access to the AC power adapter, which you can see is also branded by Philips. Uh, pretty standard prong, and the other side does use a proprietary adapter as opposed to micro USB or USB type C and we have just the light itself which can slide out like this and that's it so very simple presentation and packaging as usual from Xiaomi first impressions the light has a very clean look but it also has a larger footprint than what I was expecting in fact the neck is definitely a little bit longer the base is a little bit larger and heftier than a typical smart desk light that I've seen uh, competitors include Tautronics, among others in the same price sold on Amazon. So as a size comparison, here is a Xiaomi Mi Note 2, which is a 5.7 inch phone, a pretty large device, but you can see how next to this light, um, it, it doesn't seem all that large at all. So it does have a pretty long neck that you can use to bend uh, as well as position yourself. So taking a closer look at the build here, we have the base, which is touch sensitive. It uses capacitive controls to change things like the power as well as the intensity of the light. I can change the hue. This is a slider. That that changes the brightness as well as the different lighting modes. There's also a small ambient light sensor which allows you to calibrate the light depending on your environment, a pretty cool feature, as well as uh, hopefully uh, allowing it to turn on or off uh, automatically depending on, again, the environment settings. The base here is made out of plastic, but it's a pretty matte surface. It doesn't seem to attract a lot of fingerprints. Very interestingly, one unique feature to this particular lamp is there's actually two light sources, one which is at the stem of the light, hence why it's a little bit longer. It comes out both in the back and on the front, so it casts a very interesting glow onto your environment. Um, if you're working on a computer desk, it will also light up the desk space in addition to being a bar of light on the top as a conventional lamp. In fact, the only place where we see a Xiaomi logo is just the Mija one that's discreetly printed on the base of the lamp. And there's also rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on a surface or a desk I've plugged the lamp into power and immediately there are a few things that I really like about it. For one, the ambient sensor does actually work. So it calibrates it depending on your environment. As you can see there, it takes a few seconds to adjust itself depending on the brightness. If it's uh, actually pretty bright outside or there's enough light in the room, it will try and dim itself just to conserve on battery. But if I cover up this light sensor, then after a few seconds, you should see it uh, start to dim and adjust itself once again. The controls are actually very sensitive. And if you look very closely, they're also backlit as well. So if even if you're in the dark and there's not enough light hitting the base, you can still find and access these keys without any problem. So there really is a huge amount of attention to detail. The second one is used to control whether the backlight is turned on or not. So as you can see here right now, it is on, but I can tap on this key once uh, and that will turn off just the backlight, leaving the main light turned on. It does have a memory mode as well. So even if I save it at this particular setting, uh, so right now let's say I have it at the minimum setting, I can turn it off and the next time I turn it back on, it remembers that. Vice versa, I can crank it up all the way to the highest brightness, turn it off again, and the next time it goes back into this particular mode. So it's actually, again, pretty well implemented there. Um, these sliders here, you can either use your fingers to slide gently to make it brighter and dimmer, or I can tap on the keys and buttons individually, uh, such as just tapping on the particular dots to more quickly and precisely go to one particular mode. Right, so connecting it to a phone is also quite simple. Instead of using Bluetooth like I originally thought, it actually connects using Wi-Fi. So that's actually very cool. And then I can tap Add to find a device and in this case, it's already found the Philips Eye Care Connected Desk Lamp, and so it's going to connect the lamp into your home's Wi-Fi network. So afterwards, uh, next time you open up your app, regardless of if you're at home, if you're in the office, or if you're in a different country altogether, you can also control uh, the light directly using your, your phone. So let's say uh, if you are traveling abroad, you are, let's say, in Asia, and you want to uh, give the illusion that someone is at home, you can now use your phone just to turn the light on and turn it off. So that's a pretty cool feature, uh, an application to have a Wi-Fi connected smart light. So it's done. We can also create a shortcut on our homepage, but I'm not going to do that. 
I can tap on the Philips Eye Care, Eye Care here, and uh, it gives me a pretty simple interface that allows me to change various profiles. Like right now, we are at the study mode. This is the adult reading mode. There's also a phone computer mode that I can adjust. I can also set a timer so that it turns off after certain minutes, um, as well as delay the experience. I can turn it off, turn it back on again. There's a split second delay depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi uh, network, but afterwards you can see that it works quite well, uh, very responsive. And I can also tap on delay here to set a timer so that it powers off after one minute, five minutes, 60 minutes, so on and so forth, uh, that it can be programmed manually. On the top here, I can also change things like lamp settings. So it has a night light mode, so you can touch this to activate the lo lowest brightness at night. Eye fatigue reminder to rest your eyes after 40 minutes, the app will vibrate. And I can also adjust the ambient light, which adjusts the light on the back as opposed to one, the main light on the front here. Dimming all the lights in the room, you can tell it casts a very even glow and a warm glow at that. It casts a nice amount of light into the background, as you can see here, in addition to from above. So if you're reading something on the table, it actually works quite well. Because the arm really is so long, it's hard to actually uh, get a better perspective from this shot, but it's about the same uh, length almost as standard 15.6 inch laptop uh, on its uh, side or edge. So it really is a, quite a long arm. And as a result, if you are working on a longer table and you're trying to look at an extremely large piece of paper, if you're looking at a larger atlas, a map, something like that, it really comes into play quite well. But one potential downside again is that the stand and the overall area does take up a bit more space on a desk. So if you are really tight on space, it is something to consider. All right, so taking a quick look at some demo uh, of, of what the experience of reading is like. I have a few pieces of paper on this particular table and you can see that it's illuminated really well. And just for comparison, this is a really small USB-based uh, LED wand. You can see the size difference next to this particular lamp. Now another de potential downside or minor flaw is that a lamp doesn't have a USB port, so you can't use it to charge a smartphone. There isn't a Qi contact point so that you can just dock your phone and to immediately start charging it. That is a feature that some other competitors might deliver. Here I have a book and you can see that all the pages are illuminated really well. You know, even with no other lights on in this particular room, I can read everything very comfortably uh, in terms of its brightness and I can even crank it up further um, without any problems. Same thing goes with regular pieces of paper if you're trying to study, if you're trying to do homework, it works quite well. Here is a black and white uh, text and you can see the same experience. It's very comfortable and natural for your eyes. It almost seems like a warm glow. It's not quite as cold as the stereotypical LED bulb is. And since it is using LEDs, it is very energy efficient. So that's the Philips and Xiaomi Mija smart eye care connected lamp. For $50, it really is one of the best smart lamps that you can buy, especially for students, for office workers that want a quality lamp that is functional, elegant, but also very well designed and thought out. Adding a nice touch of ambience into the background, as well as being easy to control both from the app as well as on the dock of the lamp itself. It's functional, it's elegant, and works exactly as expected. So if you're looking for that, you can check out more details in the links down below. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Xiaomi Mija Philips Smart Connected Eye Care 